The whole point of the talk was really um, to look at the, the myths that we have of the end of the Second World War. Uh, you know, how everything was a bit of a celebration and you know, we had a party and, and then everything went back to normal again. And, and show how that really wasn't the case. Um, it wasn't even the case in Britain, but it certainly wasn't the case across the whole of Europe. So the point of the talk was there to give a sort of snapshot of Europe in, the, in the, the aftermath of war when there's just chaos and people taking revenge on each other and, and so on. I focused um, particularly on one interview uh, of, of, a, of a, just an amazing story by uh, this, this Polish man who I um, now, he's now a friend of mine, but I, I met him through interviewing him for the book. And um, so I, 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 I sort of concentrated a, a, a section of the talk on um, on his story, really, as a nine-year-old boy walking through this sort of ruined landscape of Europe and all the sights that he saw along the way. So yes, that, that was one particular um, story that I focused on. Well, I don't, I don't know how important it is for the people who read the book, but it's certainly important for me, you know. It, it, as a writer, you spend a lot of time sitting by yourself in archives or you know, in my shed at the end of the garden where I do my writing. So to come out and to, to engage with the people who are reading your book is, is I think, is a really important thing for any author to do. Um, and, and certainly with, with history writing like this, I mean, you get to meet people in the audience who've lived through these events um, and experienced some of them. And, and they will have, you know, challenging questions and, and, and stories that they can tell you. So it's, it's, it's a really valuable thing to do, something I really do value.